that Sundays are for sweatpants. And I don't even care. Can I be productive in sweatpants? We're gonna find out today. Hello friends, I hope this video finds you well. I hope you had a great weekend. Today is Sunday. I normally start my videos on Mondays, but um, this week my schedule at work's kind of weird. I'm working Monday and Friday. So I figured I would start my video today on Sunday and just do either through Wednesday or maybe the beginning of Thursday. I don't really know. We'll see what excitement this week brings. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Uh, my name is Melissa Edwards and I am a CRNA student. I am in my first year of CRNA school and I'm also a CVICU nurse, just working two days a week. And yeah, um, this vlog is called Propofol Diaries and it is my journey through CRNA school. So welcome to my channel. If you like this video, make sure to hit the big thumbs up and click subscribe so you can follow along with all of my Propofol Diaries in the future. Like I said, it is Sunday morning. Um, it is about 10 a.m. I have been up for a little bit, just kind of fooling around. Um, I did a little bit of school work yesterday and today Morgan is out riding, my husband, um, he is out riding dirt bikes with his friends so I am going to be productive AF. I'm gonna try to be. I have my to-do list for this week. I need to do, I already did my policy discussion, I need to do my replies, I need to do two assignments for role development, I need to do a stats quiz, reply to my stats um, discussion post, I need to do a patho quiz, and probably more stuff that I haven't figured out yet. So I'm currently in five classes and it's a lot, but yeah. So I just wanted to say a little, hey, hello, start this vlog off this week and I'm gonna get into it. Look at this monster, at this monster. You're covered in dirt. What did you do? You're filthy. Sit, sit, wait, wait, wait. You Sierra. Why are you like this? So I'm just coming out to get my stats book because it's in my work backpack. And you have to see what Daisy is doing right now. Look at this couch potato. Daisy, why are you laying like that? <laughs> She's not amused, huh? So we are gonna take a quick detour and I'm gonna run to the store because I need to get a couple things. And then we're gonna go see Morgan at the track and see how he's doing. So I have yet to go watch him ride his motocross bike and he's riding at a closer track today. So I'm gonna be a good wife and go be supportive because I got a couple things done for school. And yeah, so we're gonna go say hi to Morgan at the track, go to the store and we'll see you there. Like your groupie, right? What do you say? Thought you'd be proud that I finally made it out. Yeah, finally. <laughs> only said, only been married four years. <laughs> Three right. years, thank you very much. Feels like four. <laughs> <laughs> he loves me secretly. <laughs> put this blanket in here so that oh <laughs> so that the girls can hang out with me if they wanted to Shira loves it do you love it <laughs> so I was just doing one of my discussion responses and one of my classmates posted um something about proning patients and the effects of like proning COVID patients and how there's not a lot of research out there. So it prompted me to kind of do a little bit of research myself to see what I could find. And I found a really cool article that showed like two cases of um, patients being proned while they're not intubated and they actually had really good outcomes. So like the first one was um, a patient who was COVID positive who um, required high flow oxygen and they just, they were maxed out on that. So they decided let's try to prone this patient. Um, so the, push, the patient ended up needing Xanax to be able to tolerate being prone, um, but he could prone himself. And after just a few hours, they saw like a noticeable increase in his SpO2 um, and without having to go up on the high, um, I mean, they couldn't go up on the high flow, but without changing the high flow or anything. So that was cool. And then the other patient had um, recently been extubated and was just decompensating. And so they, um, a lot, had this patient prone himself as well um, and he ended up within an hour seeing um, an increase in his SpO2. So interesting stuff. It's helpful in that you don't need nurses 
Um, it's not like when they're intubating, you need a ton of people there to help. The patients can kind of do it themselves if they can tolerate it and if they're able to. So yeah, interesting stuff, um, proning patients that aren't intubated. I'll link the article in the description box in case any of you want to take a look as well because I thought it was pretty interesting. So yeah, I just wanted to pop on and share that with you guys. So I'm just finishing up my Sunday with walk on the treadmill. Um, I actually had a piece of pizza like an hour ago and then waited like 20 minutes on the treadmill, so I don't feel amazing, but <laughs> don't recommend it. But anyway, I'm going to finish my run, take a shower, make some dinner, and then just relax with Morgan the rest of the night, and then go to work tomorrow. situation. Anyway, I'm about to start my role development assignments for the day. Um, I just opened my first assignment and it's to watch some YouTube videos, um, which is pretty awesome. But no, it's uh, so I'm watching some tutorials on this like citation program thing that we're using. So I'm going to watch these YouTube videos and hang out this morning. Um, and that's about it. I think I'm going to bake something today. I'm going to bake like a garlic and cheese loaf. I'm gonna do the same braid that I did before because I really like doing that. So um, yeah, we're gonna bake this afternoon, but we're gonna get some work done this morning. And yeah, let's um, let's get into it. This week seems to be a lot of discussion posts, discussion posts, more discussion posts, replying to discussion posts, finding citations for, or finding references for discussion posts, citing those references for the discussion posts, and then um, thinking about more discussion posts. So oh, really though, I'm um, getting a lot done today. I'm very proud of myself, but anyway, I just wanted to rant about how many discussion posts I'm doing. I'm gonna take a break now. It's like 11 o'clock and yeah, I deserve a little break, I think. Daisy's taking a break. Hey, pause. Oh, good girl. Daisy, what do you think about mom being in school? 100% doggo approved. She likes that I'm in school because I get to be home with her more, right? Mm, I love ya. Oh, the guys are at work, let's watch. <laughs> also, please excuse that mess over there. Um, I finished this half of the office, but I still need to get rid of some stuff over there. So don't judge me, I try to keep it out of the video, but <laughs> I let you guys see it that time. I'm secretly a mess, I just try and keep a little bit of my life organized. Check out these beautiful roses that Morgan got me for our three year wedding anniversary. That was on Friday. So pretty. Okay, we're gonna see if we can bake bread in two minutes or less, not two inches or less for me, but for the video. So I'm gonna do like a garlic and some kind of cheese. I think there's like mozzarella or something in the fridge. So garlic and cheese braided loaf. I'm gonna show you guys how we're gonna make it. I've never done this before, so I can't guarantee it's gonna turn out any good, but hopefully, at least if it looks cool, that's all I'll care about. <laughs>
just great. <laughs> wait, is, wait, tell us the judge. The aeration is pretty good. Mm -hmm. Could do a few more layers. Overproved, I think. Tastes like garlic? Mm -hmm. There you go. Call it lemon. You won the star baker. <laughs> oh, I'm the star baker! Yeah. Morgan's out water testing his boat, so I figured I'd come and get a little bit of fresh air and look at the lake for a little bit because it makes me feel better. Wednesday, it's not, uh, it's not, yeah, it's 11.30, so it's still the morning. Um, I woke up with, like, so much anxiety this morning for some reason. Like, I've been having a lot of anxiety on and off the last, like, week, but for some reason this morning, I just felt out of sorts. I just felt really anxious, which is weird because, like, school's not that bad right now. Work hasn't been bad. So I don't really have, like, a source of anxiety that I can really pin down what it is. I think I just, it's just something that I have and I deal with. Um, but yeah, it was, I don't know, really bad this morning for some reason. I was just very anxious when I woke up. Um, so I decided to just go to the gym early and do my workout in the morning because I've been doing it in the evening lately. So I just felt like I needed to kind of work some of that out and get some of my, you know, maybe a little bit of stress relief from working out. So it was good. I did some weights. Um, I did a run. Uh, not a run. I went on the, um, the bike. I did a, um, almost four miles on the bike. It was, I had a good workout and I do feel a little bit better. So, I don't know, it's just one of those days I just feel very anxious. Anyway, I am feeling a little bit better. So, I need to get some patho done today. I have pretty much everything else done for the week. I'm very proud of myself. I had a very productive um, beginning of the week. So, I'm going to, right now, I'm gonna go return. If you remember from last week's video, I rented the wrong health informatics textbook. <laughs> so, I rented the wrong edition. So, I have to go bring this to UPS so I can mail back to Amazon. Um, so I'm gonna go do that now and then I'm really in the mood for a smoothie So I'm think I'm gonna get a smoothie while I'm out and then come back and do patho this afternoon So yeah, I just wanted to um, pop on for the morning and say hello talk about kind of my anxiety and how I've been feeling um, If you feel the same way or if you kind of have anxiety like I do comment down below some of the things that help you get through it Because um, like I don't want to have to use like medication or anything I want to be able to find positive ways of getting myself out of it so um, please share with me the ways that you get yourself through like anxiety patches if you get them like I do. But yeah, I will see you guys uh, when I get back from UPS. <laughs> Hello. So I just got back from doing all my errands. Morgan, I guess, found a dog while I was gone. So we have a dog outside. So I just um, posted to like Paul Booth that we found this dog and then printed out a flyer and put it around the neighborhood so we can find the owner of this dog. He's super sweet, but um, Daisy doesn't get along with every dog. So... We're gonna keep him outside. We just gave him like a blanket and some water until we find his owners, which hopefully they'll contact us soon um, and we can get him back to his home. But anyway, I am back. I'm gonna do some patho. I have to read about infection. So let's learn about some infection together. I just made a coffee, so I have no reason not to be productive. Scenery. Hopefully his owners call soon. Poor little baby. You're okay, bud. Yeah. He's so sweet. I'm sure they're probably like at work and I have no idea that he's even missing. We'll find your family, bud. Don't you worry. We'll find your family. I'm literally about to cry. So I ended up, I named this dog Bud. I just brought Bud to the Humane Society. It was just sex. He was really scared and like shaking, but I mean, he's super sweet. And the people kept giving him treats in the Humane Society to make him feel better. So, um, he'll be fine 
we put that if no one comes to claim him we're gonna adopt him so we'll be first to be notified if nobody claims him but i hope his owners come and find him so that he goes back to his home but i just know that it's right to bring him here so that they have a chance to find him and then if someone calls me for my flyers too i can say that i brought him here but at least he's safe it's not fair to our girls you know to have just a random dog in the house if we're not going to keep him and stuff because Daisy's really weird with other dogs but I don't know it was just made me really sad but anyway I'm gonna go home now I hope that his owners come and find him I'll still leave the flyers up so they can call me and if they call me I can tell them you know where I brought him but if not I mean we will adopt him if no one claims him um they'll call me and I'll adopt him so I'll, I should hear back in like probably a week or something if nobody claims him but I don't know, I just love dogs. It made me feel bad because he was scared. But anyway, I'm gonna go home and cuddle my girls and give them love. morning it is probably around 10 I just finished my reading for patho from yesterday that I was working on so I was doing this reading and then I ended up having to deal with that dog that we found and then that made me sad so we were um yeah so I just didn't finish that last night so I just finished my reading I'm gonna take my patho quiz and that's it for the week I'm done so um I'm gonna take this quiz and then I just relax the rest of the day I don't really know. I don't have any plans. I'll probably like, I really need to clean the house actually. So that's what I'll do. I'll clean the house. Um, I'll keep you guys updated on Bud, which is the dog that I found. Well, that Morgan found, but that I um, ended up taking to the Humane Society because I'm hoping that his family will go look for him there because um, I put on Paw Boost. It's been shared like a hundred times and I haven't had a single phone call. I put up flyers in the neighborhood, haven't had a single phone call. Um, so, you know, if it's an old couple or something that owns them that maybe you don't even use social media, um, I think that's, you know, the first place that they would look. So they said that, um, you know, the Humane Society is going to hold on to him, but we did put that we would adopt him if they don't come and get him. So, um, yeah, we're gonna, I guess, just see what happens with that, but I'll keep you guys updated. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed watching week three of CRNA School. Um, make sure you're subscribed so that you can follow along with the rest of my CRNA school journey, I post every Sunday night at 8 p.m. so you can fall asleep with Purple Fall Diaries. Good night, guys.